New on Daybreak, we are back with our friend and movie critic, Herb Stratford. And this time we're talking about one of the big independent uh, fest movie festivals out there. Sundance Film Festival is going on right now at Park City, Utah. You just came back from Sundance. Yeah, I was there uh, the 24th through yesterday, and uh, this, is, this is something I do every year. This is my 10th year, and managed to squeak in uh, 25 movies in five oh days. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so, I can't imagine that. Yeah, so, so we, we have saw, a lot to talk about. We saw a lot of great <laughs> movies, and like you said, it's still going on, deals mm -hmm. are still being made, but some, some early films that were really kind of buzzworthy that we wanted to talk about real quick. Um, on the narrative side, uh, Birds of Passage, mm -hmm. and this is a really phenomenal kind of, I almost saw it as a as a uh, Latin American Godfather film. Okay. So, kind of about families and indigenous culture versus uh, versus the drug trade. Just a ravishingly beautiful film uh, that is actually going to be playing at the Loft, I believe, in February. So that'll be coming out very soon. Do not miss this film. It is remarkable. It actually is. It's in. It's in the Oscars this year. It's one of the foreign film nominees okay. uh, from Birds Columbia. So uh, yeah, for Birds of Passage. And then the second narrative film that I wanted to mention too is called The Souvenir. And this is just a remarkable film uh, about a young woman and kind of a relationship she gets into. It's a little bit over her head, a very kind of uh, calm, uh, very cool movie. This has been bought by A24 and actually they're already talking about another one. So by the same director and the same cast. So really wonderful film. And then there were some fabulous documentaries that we had a chance to see as well. Um, the first one we wanted to mention was Knock Down the House, mm -hmm. and this is the one about Alexandria Ocasio, um, who won for uh, House of Representatives from the Bronx, yes. and uh, it actually follows her and three other candidates as they are on, uh, on the campaign trail to win their, their role in Congress, and she's of course the only one that actually wins, but it's just a fascinating story of kind of common people running for Congress, and mm -hmm. they're all women, and they're all coming against, uh, against uh, you know, candidates that have been entrenched. And so it's kind of a riveting political thriller, and of course it ends, the way you know it ends, because one of them wins, but it's just really great to see. It's a pretty historic moment. Yeah. It is, yeah. So it's a really interesting film. That was really great. Apollo 11 is another film that everybody is talking about. This is, uh, I saw this on opening night. This was remarkable because it is NASA's own archive of 70 millimeter film that no one has seen for 50 years. And of oh, course, wow. this July 21st is the 50th anniversary of the moon landing. And so they went and they rescanned this footage uh, in, in 8K. So you see this footage of the actual race to the moon in a way you've never seen it before. Remarkable film. That's going to be coming out, I believe, right around the time of the anniversary of the moon landing. So in June, July, we're going to be able to see that. There'll be a lot of commemorations around that. And then the last thing I wanted to talk about is One Child Nation. And uh, that film is about the policy in China where families could only have one child. And mm -hmm. it went on for about 30 years. And it's just a devastating look at that policy and the repercussions. Ironically, now China doesn't have enough young people because of this policy that they created. The woman who directed it is a, a Chinese filmmaker. She returns back to China to kind of look into the, what happened. And they uh, finds out that her family actually had abandoned some children. And it's just heartbreaking, mm -hmm. mostly girls, because every Chinese family wanted to have a boy. And so it's just a devastating documentary about the history of this policy. So Sundance, again, Park City. Uh, a, a good time had by all and wasn't as cold as the Midwest, so looking, already looking uh, yeah. forward to 2020. I was going to so. say, not as cold <laughs> as other parts of the country. And look at you, having lots of fun out yeah. there. Thank you so much for sharing those pictures, Herb. We really appreciate it. Over to you, Stephanie. <laughs>